I could bet my life that it won't be looking like this ever again. It's all lies, don't believe it. For all you naysayers that may say, oh, you have to be five foot to sleep in there. No, no, no. Oh, I do love camping. <laughs> Welcome to Kawaguchigo Lake. We're at potentially the best place in Japan to see Mount Fuji. But we're not just here for Mount Fuji, we're also here for... The star, the one and only, Nora, the Nissan MV100. Let's get to it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Are you okay? <laughs> Sounds like the ice cream man. Is it, the, is it the school? This is our home for the next three months. Let's show you around. Firstly, we'll show you like any home, any nice home anyway, that you've got a great little porch. And here's mine, which consists of my old dusty hiking boots. And a welcome drink. <laughs> and when you come to our home, you get the finest natural mineral water from Mount Fuji. Yeah, we were actually told that the, the tap water around this region actually just comes straight from Mount Fuji, from the um, melting glaciers, which is pretty cool. Welcome to the cockpit. And this is an MV100, 52 brake horsepower, 600cc vehicle, so a glorified hair dryer. But it gets you there on time, every time. So first off, steering wheel. <laughs> steering wheel. So it's very in depth. So here's the dashboard. Now I keep getting confused because usually, well, every car we drive in the UK has the indicator on the left, but in fact here it's on the right. Every time I keep trying to indicate, I keep putting the windscreen wiper on. So. That's my pet peeve. But You're getting there though, you haven't done it in a while. I haven't done it in a while. I haven't done it in 12 hours. But this is my favourite bit. Wait, so... just listen to this. ETC card was released. When we first had the van, I was assuming that was the car saying hi every time we turned it on. But actually, Dom corrected me a few days ago, that's the ETC card, which we have, which it works as a toll card. So every time we come up to a toll, the, the gate will just open, it picks up this card, and then you get charged to your account that's linked to the card. Luckily, Japan campers have given us this card to use around and we'll pay at the end for all the tolls that we use. Apparently it is discounted, like, instead of paying by cash, but when we've used the the only toll world we have used, there wasn't even an option to pay cash, it just said yeah. ETC and it automatically opened. But I'm assuming it's because if you don't have the card, the barriers won't open and then you have to pay. But, but we didn't see any like card machine or like a slot for money or anything, so I'm not sure how you would pay with cash. No. But we are kind of avoiding toll roads anyway, aren't we? So yeah, another bizarre thing, as soon as I starting the car at Japan Campers, I was looking around and I was like, I know I, I've drove, we had a Honda CRV before when we were in Thailand and they have, um, you know, the automatic gear stick here and they also have the handbrake here. But I was like, where's the handbrake? So I've looked right, because in our motorhome at home, it's on the right, in our car, it's on the left. Where is it? But it's actually where the clutch should be, here. So this, that creaky noise is the handbrake. <laughs> and you know, it rocked my world. I just couldn't believe it was there. <laughs> and that's how boring my life is. And also when you're reversing, if I show you, just, I'm gonna actually reverse. You know, like with a lorry, um, when you're reversing, it's beeping. The reversing. That's the reversing, making sure, watch out, there's a very large and wide vehicle coming. If you slightly go over the lane, like with the studs in the road, the car actually recognises, um, it's got a sensor, so it beeps and tells you to stop. And also, if somebody pulls out on you, if you're someone that likes to tailgate, the car will actually beep and say, brake. Or it will actually just automatically brake, won't it? Or actually, yeah, so if, if, it, if it's activated, the car is actually like a collision assist, so it will stop the car, it will brake automatically for you, which is quite helpful, really. I haven't really needed it because I don't drive like an arsehole. More importantly is the iPad that came with the van that Japan campers have given us. It has everything we need to know where we're going to go and stay, where the onsen are, where there's park ups, where there's petrol. It's all on this. They have like their own little app. And the car park that we're in right now is actually on this tablet and that's how we found it. It's really useful. There's a jingle going off. If you're like me and you love a catchphrase, a jingle, you're gonna love Japan because it's just constant <laughs> all day, every day. It's like you're in a cartoon. So there is an aux cord, um, you know, you use your radio. I'm not sure if it actually has Bluetooth or not. It's got a CD player, but I mean, when using the iPad, it's a lot easier just having the Bluetooth speaker yeah, this on. this is really good. It was only sort of 
I think it was a Christmas present actually from my mum. So. <laughs> Thank you, Sally. Right, so. So that's Dom's side because he's the uh, majority driver. I will drive at some point, but I didn't want to drive in Tokyo. So I'm yet to uh, drive. So that international driving permit may have been a waste of money. No, I'm definitely gonna drive. It's very calm driving around and I, I feel like I wouldn't really be worried driving, but in Tokyo, it's not necessarily the drivers, but it's the the routes and everything. I, it's a bit nerve wracking. Um, it's not on the approved routes. But you'll definitely see me driving at some point. Um, but anyway, that's Dom's half. This is my half. So here I've got my my mittens. It's the baby mitt mitts. I got these the other day. Um, where we are, there's like a duty free area. Um, so I convinced Dom because it was Valentine's Day to get me some mittens and a hat because it was freezing. It was it was like minus four when we were don't, waking up. Don't say you're not spoilt. But um, <laughs> basically, it's I think because it's a really touristy area, so people can come here because it's about just over an hour from Tokyo. Um, so they come here, buy the duty free, really sick of the plane. But what we found out is if you're buying tax free, um, basically they seal it in a bag so you can't mm. use the item or open the item until you're through the airport. So we, in the end, we just paid the tax. And Emma wants her mitt mitts, so there's no point having mittens and then we have to w stare at them in the van for three months. Yeah, so, you know. so that's an exciting detail. Here I've got, I keep my phone here. I also keep my my stamp book from Neko Neko Post. And we've got our first ever stamp from Takao Sanguchi Station. Um, we're definitely gonna be getting a lot more stamps on this trip. But it also came with these these cue cards, which really helped. So I said sumimasen stampu arimasuka to a woman and she literally just ran from behind the desk and ran us over to the station where, where there was a little stamp station right at the entrance. Also, we have a map that I stole from Japan Campers. Uh, haven't used it yet. Don't know if we will. Here I've got, it's my favorite. Of the ones I have tried, that is the best. And then down here I've got my little cherry bottle. Dom also has one. It fits perfectly. Yeah, it's like, it was, it's like it was made for it. And also it, fit, it fits quite well here as well, but we um, put that down there because it is a more snug fit. Yeah. And like Dominic, I've got a little Lawson's microfiber towel because when these get condensated, there's a lot of condensation. <laughs> Blimey, there's not much getting past Emma. So up here we've got, this covers the front windscreen and it just pins up on these. You literally just, there's four along the edge and it goes up and uh, covers the windscreen. Oh, also my little origami friends, it's a little frog. And we've got two, little swans doing work in a cafe every time I ordered a coffee the guy kept giving us some origami. Dom's also got some candy. I've got some cleanser and a hairbrush so I can find it nice and easy in the morning and at night. Here we've got our microfiber towels in a in a, a ziplock bag. Dom's got a little hiking jacket and in here we keep our wires, the wires that we can fold down. So we've got like little chargers. Um, I'm not sure when we're gonna use a <laughs> little microphone. Um, but yeah, it just makes it really easy to find wires when you need them. And that, it will just fit nicely up there. Let's get in the back. <laughs> there isn't a far journey to the back cabin. So at the front here, we've got is our fridge. It's connected via 12 volt from the inverter, so literally there's a switch that you can just turn it on and off and it's all pre-plugged in, so we don't have to manually plug it in. And we haven't actually used it yet because I mean, Lawson's a 7-Eleven, you know, sort of to a dozen, so we, yeah, yeah. we literally just go in, buy the drinks, you know, we've, drink them and bin them. We've not been too rural yet, so it's not really no. been a requirement, but it is a big fridge. It's a big fridge for a small van. It's, it, it's probably as big as our like, storage. I'm sure that will be used in due course. So that hanging on the back of the chair is Charlotte's umbrella that she very kindly lent us because when we were in Tokyo it was snowing and we were just about the only unprepared people in Japan. Everyone had their umbrellas and I was just walking through the rain with sopping wet hair and mascara all over my face. So thank you for that Sharla, it's saved us on a few occasions. Here's a nice little nook and cranny that we can store all our additional bits and bobs and all the important stuff really. Mostly is the matcha pokey. Pokey. <laughs> Um, I like I like calling it pokey. So it's the matcha pokey. 
Yeah, always. I think I'll have that enough. So anyway, this is where we've got our uh we've got our tripod, which tripod we be using drone. Oh, I really want to use it, but every time we keep going in really cool places it says no drone. Now I'm willing to like be a rule breaker, but Emma won't let me. Um and we've got our camera bag which is full of all spare camera bits and bits and bobs. And behind that, if you can see ever slightly, is this little blue thing that I'm having a little fiddle that, that, with. There's the cover for the chairs. And then the other side is a water tank sort of holder, which I said to Emma, let's not bring it. But she's like, oh, we need water. But we haven't used it once, yeah. and I bet that we won't. So here, Dom has actually very kindly made the bed for you. He wouldn't do this for me on a normal day because <laughs> the bed normally doesn't look this tidy. But he's done a very good job. You're just trying to make, it look, look, make me look bad. I am a domesticated husband. He is. Look at look at this. Look at that. We've got two pillows, a throw, a duvet, and he folded this all up so ni so neatly. And and the mattress is there at the back. The futon folded up at the back. But just appreciate this. I could bet my life that it won't be looking like this ever again. It's all lies. Don't believe it. This is quite an essential part of the van. We have about a hundred packing cubes up here which we ordered it back in England. We've got like one for t-shirts, one for trousers, one for pants, whatever. And they all fit so well up here. All the grey ones are Dom's, all the grey ones are mine. Dom definitely has more than me. I don't have more. Uh, but there's a there's a, a pair of boots that are sitting behind Emma's chair and I will tell you they I said Emma you're not gonna wear them. Oh but I'm in Tokyo I'm gonna go out looking all glam well, well, we're in Tokyo. We're said. in Tokyo, and guess what Emma wore? A good old-fashioned scarpers. Yeah. And uh, I also put out some fairy lights that I brought from home to make it nice and homely, which we barely even use because there is actually quite a good light underneath here. That white thing is an LED light, which is wired into our um, three switches here. As I was saying earlier, one's for the fridge, one's for the um, light and ones for the inverter to, to control that on and off. And that's the inverter. And yeah, so it's pure sine wave. You know, I won't even bore you with the, the spec because I don't understand it and you probably don't either. So yeah, the inverter is, is strong enough to power pretty much everything except our laptops or a hairdryer. They made that very clear, do not use a hairdryer because someone did that once and it exploded. So um, we're, we're sticking to the phones on the inverter. So yeah, for the meantime, we've been going in cafes and love hotels, which you will have seen in, in the love hotel video that we've just put up, the Candy Love Hotel. The main reason we went in there was for electric. Um, plus I'd seen it on Instagram and I wanted to go and see what it was like. Right. If anyone in Japan has a power bank they want to lend, I mean, yeah, lend, that would... borrow. We won't treat it like our car mats. We will polish it nicely and it will return to you in very good condition. Okay, we've got our. This tells us the voltage and stuff when the inverter's on. Here we've got two USBs, and here we've got a 12 volt, you know what. And then up here, either side, we have very useful, I don't know what to call them to be honest. Emma used to have a part time job at QVC, and clearly she shone in that job. <laughs> right. What but do you call them? I don't know. It, they are. It's, they're literally. There's because you can buy them in IKEA. Like I can't remember. But but basically, it's, like it's metal grids that you can put hooks on, put shelves on. I hang my earrings up metal there. Metal storage at night. solution. We've got all my books that I haven't read yet. We've got tissues. We've got spare masks. And these are lights that are really handy when you're filming and it's pitch black in the van. But also, flat. a little cup holder for Dom's cafe latte. And over here, basically, Emma wouldn't allow me to wear the, the sunglasses because when I, uh, it's a really sunny day, and naturally, I'm British, so if we even get a glimmer of sun, the shades are on, the shorts are out. But Emma wouldn't let me put them on, I so know. that's it. I don't know who you think you are when you wear them. Uh, I think but we also keep the the um, toothbrush and toothpaste handy up here. Now this is really cool actually. This is the toothbrush we got just before we came and I mean they're really expensive but there's a reason because it's a very sustainable brand, it's all recycled, you can send them back, things like that. But the main reason we got it is one, it was 70% off, but two is that the case actually has a built-in and um, like a special UV cleaner light which yeah. kills all the bacteria on the toothbrush and when you're on the road and you haven't got access to taps and things like that, you need to have a quick brush in the case, press the button, it kills 99.9% .9 bacteria. So, really helpful. Plus, and they're called cool Sustainable Rituals brand. Plus, they're just really cute. And you get. Oh. Plus, you get lots of different heads to, to try out, and you can recycle the heads by giving it back to them. Now, so there's more storage in the van. So, underneath here, we've got um, a start from the left. Now, 
it's not looking very small. This is where our 100 amp battery is stored. We've got our fuse box and the uh, split charge relay box, and then there's the main fuse that runs for the fridge. You sort of forget this is here when the futon's on it. I forgot that this storage was. The layout for this space has been really utilised well, and Seriously, like yeah. when when we arrived, I mean, I mean, I was scared when I booked it on the website, but when we turned up and I looked at this, I was like, what have I done? But actually, if you're willing to compromise and you're willing to, you know, just run with it, it's really good alternative travel around Japan. Especially, it's so um, so economical as well on petrol. It's We've ridiculous. spent thirty pounds in a week. And I've and I've no, done in ten days actually. Spent thirty pounds and I've done over five hundred kilometres. It's crazy. So anyway, the main centre is here. So we've got this nice little handy hook, which also folds away when you close the door. And this is our sort of main storage compartment. Yeah, this is like the garage. So, yeah, know. so we've got our cooking bits and bobs, utensils, yeah, pots and pans. pans. This is a fold out camping table, which. Although there is sec a second table that you can hook onto here. Yeah. So we've got two potential tables. So this is our sort of washing up bucket. This is sort of your, your sink, really. So I guess you have your camping table outside, have this on the table, and there's your washing up station. I'm looking forward to seeing you make use of that. Yeah, this is just a spare gas bottle for um, the just a normal camping stove, uh, and you've got our Starlink satellite with um, router. Hopefully, we can get that running. But we have tested it already, and it does run off the inverter. So hopefully, we can get some good internet here. Yeah, at some point, we're gonna really wild camp and make use of all this stuff. For example, we stayed in this car park last night, and there's free Wi-Fi. There's free 24-hour toilets and there is 7-Eleven Lawson's and Family Mart within the facility, so there's not really been much use for and the wi all this stuff here, yet. The Wi-Fi here is actually really good. Like We get like 40 megabytes, which is, you know, it's pretty good. Yeah. Anyway, it's, it's like free. fiber optic. And so. uh, because of that, Dom's been able to keep up with EastEnders in Coronation Street. Oh, if you're British, if you don't love Corey and EastEnders, there's something wrong with you. Right, anyway, so last but not least we've got our third section which stores our table so this um this folds out wowzers and then you've got our two little sticks so just like that bob's your uncle oh hold on well we've got some uneven ground so that clips in nice and sturdy i mean i could sit on that but i won't yeah don't be doing that now that goes in there and then Insert camping chair, one, two. Oh, I do love camping. This table was really handy last night when we were watching some fire, free firework display at the car park we were staying at. Had no idea it was on until a local came and told us like half an hour before and Don was adamant that we should get the table and chairs out to watch them. It was and actually look very at it nice. In its glory. Why would, I, why would you not want that out of the back of your K car? It's a pretty neat table. It just works so well and I'm just obsessed with it. So with a bit of manoeuvring and back and forth with the duvet and the pillows, uh, it's actually really easy to make this bed. Right, so I'm gonna time Dom how long it takes to make the bed up. Ready? And <laughs> oh. <In. laughs> Move that chair forward. Yeah, Emma's, Emma's trying to like, she's trying to make me go slow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. What, are we, what are we saying? Make Complete. it look neat, make it look neat, go on. Okay. Who's going to town? The Queen. <laughs> This includes getting an electric blanket on. <laughs> Plug that blanket in. Where's the wire? <laughs> on. Right. Pillows. What about the throw? Oh. <laughs> we want to be cosy. We want to be cosy. Comfy cosy. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, this is where it loses time, it's down. not the bed, it's the throw. And it's upside down, but I'll give you that. What, how did you sit the and bed? you're done. Wait. Not even two minutes. You've done that in under two minutes. Two, two minutes. minutes. Personal best. And, that, and that's with the perfectly made bed with with I mean, electric blanket. Perfect is subjective, so to me, that's no, perfect. No, no, Tom, perfect. that looks pretty... 
pretty uh, hotel worthy. Now, here's the best bit. It's seepy seepies. <laughs> Wait, let me take your shoes off. We're in Japan. Uh, no shoes in the van. Oh. I like your socks. Wait, let oh, that dog does not look. <laughs> Dog's been through the wall. <laughs> that dog has well and truly <laughs> this is been through the wall. Van life, realness. <laughs> no, but it's not even I'm dirty. It's the boots, I swear. So, for all you naysayers that may say, oh, you have to be five foot to sleep in there. No, no, no. Six foot. And if you, if Emma goes down at the bottom, I've still got plenty of room to do fishy, fishy. <laughs> <sighs> What more could you ask for? What are you still doing here? Like, subscribe, bell notifications on, always away. I hope Japan Cameras isn't watching because I think there might be some slight toothpaste residue down the side, but I promise. I'm sorry, but how is there toothpaste? <laughs> I think that is toothpaste. Oh dear.